Hey guys, welcome back to another video from uh, Cameros Web Services. Uh, if you need cheap hosting, I'd like to remind you guys that uh, I'm offering cheap hosting at Cameros, CamerosWebServices.com. You can check it out on the link below there and uh, go check out our prices if you need hosting. But anyways, we're going to keep going on our little video series today. And uh, what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be installing uh, Virtual Man on our uh, Ubuntu uh, setup, on our Ubuntu Justro. And we're also going to get remove uh, MySQL and we're going to install Maria database instead. And uh, then we're going to boot this up and uh, install Virtual Man and configure it. Uh, and uh, we're going to stop right there when we're almost ready to add some new domains to our server so uh, let's go ahead right now and jump over to the workstation all right guys welcome back to our workstation so um, we're gonna get right down to it and we're gonna log into our cluster and uh, our VM on our cluster and uh, we're gonna install in or uh, that's the first thing we're gonna do so let's go ahead and since we installed the uh, Windows Admin Center on our, our on our computer You'll now have a, an app called Failover Cluster that you can launch from your work center, and that's what we're gonna do right here. So, go ahead and launch the Failover Cluster. And if, I already added the icon, but you could look over, you could look for it in your start Failover Cluster Manager. Okay, so when it pops up, you know we're gonna want to connect to our uh, to our cluster, which is main cluster. That's what I called it, maincluster.home.com. So we're gonna hit OK. Attempting to connect. All right, connected. I'm full screen this. All right, so this is our main uh, cluster here, and we're gonna. See yeah, and now that you click on roles, you can see uh, your main server right here, our virtual machine, which is off. Uh, you might want to click on settings and make sure that everything is okay. Your memory, your processors, your hard drive. Oh, oh, right here where I can see that uh, our image file is not loaded for Ubuntu right now, so we're gonna want to do that and there's my Ubuntu copy so I'm going to select that make sure that it's got the, it's going to boot from that so I want to make sure good thing I looked eh? good thing I looked in my settings okay so we're going to start the machine machine is starting All right, and it looks like the machine has started, and we want English, and we're gonna install Ubuntu server. All right, so we're gonna install Ubuntu here. English, yes, English done. Ethernet card, and uh, it's a uh, given. A right now, it's given an IP from the DHCP, but that's okay. I'll leave it like that for now. Later, I'll, I'll change this IP. But I'm actually I I edit my IPs in my DHCP server so that the. Uh, the server gives out the proper IPs instead of um, giving this virtual machine a static IP. Okay, so done. Proxy address, none. Mirror address, sounds good. Use entire disk. This disk that we made on our cluster. Uh, looking good. Looking good. Done. Continue. My name. Uh, server's name, which is going to be uh, okay. No capitals, I guess. 
I could use a name. All right, next, install SSH. We want SSH. No, <coughs> we don't need to import anything. Uh, we want any IDs. No, and we will skip all of them. And it is starting to install. Alright, so the install is finished, so we're going to go ahead and uh, reboot the computer here. Oops. Rebooting. All right, so we are at the login screen here. All right, so we're all logged in. And uh, now we're gonna wanna go ahead and install uh, Virtual Min. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is, I'm gonna, I'm gonna sudo oops, into the super user. And now we're going to want to app get update. And then we're going to want to do an upgrade. <sighs> All right, so now that we're done. Uh, upgrading our computer we're going to go ahead and start installing virtual min so the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want we're going to want to download it so i'm i'm going to go to the temp directory and this is we're going to download it from uh with the, the w get command and at http semicolon from slash from slash software dot virtual min dot com from slash gpl from slash scripts from slash install dot sh okay so it's been downloaded so now we're going to go ahead and we're going to install it by typing sh from slash temp from slash inst install dot sh dash b space lamp All right, so it's ready to install, and it's asking us if we want to continue, and we'll say yes. Your host name is not fully qualified, so we're gonna to have to put a fully qualified host name right here. So we're gonna call it host. Cameras Web Services. Services. Com, and it's gonna to start to install virtual net. So this might take a minute. All right, so virtual mail is now installed. So the next thing that we're gonna wanna do is uh, we're gonna remove MySQL and then we're gonna install Maria database. So to remove MySQL, we're gonna do an app get remove MySQL dash server and then MySQL dash client and MySQL dash common.
And we're also going to want a Dell user in MySQL. Alright, so we remove the user and we're also going to want to remove the, the files. So var dash lib dash mysql. Oops. Okay, so now all the files have been removed and mysql is completely gone. Alright, so I can't copy and paste in here, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to use a different program to connect to this. So it's uh, are back in action here using a different program and uh, yeah so now I can paste here so I, I can paste before so this is what we need to paste in here app key uh, all this stuff I'll have this in the comments all right so signatures have been imported and now we're gonna want to add the repository and it's bionic main So now sudo app update. All right, our package is all up to date. Now we're gonna app get install Maria database dot server and Maria dash client. Oops. So now we're installing Maria database. So we're going to set a password. Password has been set. So we're going to go ahead and start MariaDB. So there you go, the service has been started. Okay, now so now that has been started, and uh, we're gonna want to make sure that we uh, secure this uh, MySQL ins installation by typing uh, MySQL secure installation. I think it is. Yeah, MySQL secure installation installation. So let's remove the anonymous user. This allow root login remotely, yes. 
Remove test database, yes. Reload privileges table, yes. Okay, so Maria database has been upgraded and uh, now it's installed. And uh, everything is up. Alright, so now we should be able to connect to this machine right now by going to our IP address. 192.168 and make sure that we type in the port 10,000 because that's where it's at. So make sure we type advance, proceed, the username. And password. Oops. So, looks like we're logged into Virtual Man, and we're gonna do our pulse installation wizard here. So, hit that. Uh, running Manager Reload. No, I don't need that fast UI, and we need fast mail processing. Run Clam AV scanner, yes. Alright, so Clam AV did not start for some reason. Let's try it again. Ah, there we go, Clam AV started this time. So ram the spam assassin filter, yes. So Maria DB database, yes. Prog my progress SQL, no. So it needs to know the MySQL root password, which is the password that we entered before. Alright, huge system. Primary name server is going to be host.cameras web services. Next. Store plane. That's okay. We can store plain, plain text on here. So it's not complete, so then hit next. And it's gonna do a hit make sure you hit the recheck and refresh config. And voila! Now we are now running with uh, Virtual Man and Webman, and uh, everything is complete here. So we also have Nginx, run Nginx running as our uh, server, and uh, we got PHP FPM 7.2 running. <coughs> And now the first thing that you'd want to do is start adding uh, new virtual servers. But that's going to be for another video. This is where we're going to stop today.